Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about cores. Cores means cross-origin resource sharing. Sometimes when you're coding and you, you try to fetch some data from some URL or from an API, you might end up getting into an error, which is called a cores error. So in this video, we're going to talk about what cores is and how we're going to solve these errors that we might face. In the first place, let's talk about what cores is. As I said, that it means cross-origin resource sharing. So let's give an example. By origin, we want to say that it's an URL or in, in other cases, it can be called a local host with a specific port. So suppose we have a server at the local host port 5000 and we have a client from where we want to fetch some data, which is at local host port 3000. So the local host port 5000, this is one origin and local host port 3000, this is another origin. So when you're trying to fetch the data from the local host 3000 to the local host 5000, you're going to face an error because the origins are not similar. But if the case was like uh, you're trying to fetch the data from the same origin where the data is already present, that is, if you're trying to fetch the data from the localhost 5000 to the data in, which is already in the localhost 5000, then you won't be facing this sort of error. It only happens when the origin is different. So we need to do some things so that we can solve this error and uh, we will be getting the data as we desire. So let's get into the code. So as I said that we will be using a server and a client model. This is the, basically the client. We are using React for that. We will just focus on these three lines for the script. So uh, this is the re, uh, client side where we are trying to fetch data from localhost 5000 slash data. And whatever we, we are fetching, we want to display it in the console in the form of JSON. And this is a server which already contains the data that we are trying to fetch from the client. So this is the server, as I said, that we are going to use Express and now let's just start the servers so let's start the server first and it's okay this is how we start the server and let's start the client as i said that this is a react app i'm just writing npm start and this will start the local host at or 3000 so now let's just wait for the for the re application to start and we'll come back when it starts so in the first place as i said that we're trying to fetch data from the localhost 5000 and we are tr we are requesting it from the localhost 3000 but apparently we're getting this error course policy error it says that it has been blocked by the course policy no access control allow origin header is present on the requested resource so as i said that the origins did not match so what we need to do is we need to allow the origin from the server so for that case what we need to do in the first place is we need to install course uh, the npm package course in the server so what we do is we go to the server and we write npm i course and once this is installed we just need to include this in the app all right as you can see that this this is installed now just we, we just need to include it here in the server so what we write is once course equals required course and we need to use app.use course and this will be in the form of JSON we will write this is the origin that we are going to allow as you saw that the local host 3000 is trying to make the request so we will allow this localhost 3000 so http colon slash slash localhost port 3000 all right if you save it now you can see that we are getting the data we are getting the data that we have we already have in the server we are getting the data from here so this is the, just a way to um, so this is the way to solve this problem as we as we talked about like uh, we just need to install the npm package if you're using an express app uh, if you're using some other technologies then th that might be different but in case of node and express uh, what we need to do is we need to just install the npm package course we need to uh, like call it from the or we need to include it in the server and then we need to call it in this way where we are just allowing the origin from which we want the request to come so now as you can see that the we are requesting from the localhost 3000 to the localhost 5000 
and we are not getting any sort of error and we are getting the data that we want. So if you go to the network tab here, the dev tools, and let's go to the data here, you can see the response header and it has the access control allow origin, which is the localhost 3000. So the error that we, are fa that we were facing in the first place is removed at the time being. Now, the thing is, if actually we do not want, like, if we want that every origin or every every everybody can make a request to it, so we can also actually make it an asterisk and save it. So what well, what we can see here now is if we check the data, you can see that the access control allow origin is asterisk. So that means that if we're trying to make a request to it from a different resource or from a different so, uh, origin, still we will be getting the data that we desired. But apparently this uh, is not a good practice, I would say, because if you're if you're having some sensitive data, which which is, should not be coming to the public, it can be viewed and it can be changed as well. So in that case, it's giving us a risk is not a good option rather than just keeping it as as it is. That's how we, will, we are going to solve this problem. So there are some other complex problems that might occur as well. We'll talk about them in, in some future videos. So basically that's it for the video. I hope this will help you to solve the problem if you are already facing this problem. And if you find this video useful, uh, be sure to like, share and comment on this video about what you thought about it and what might be an easier approach or something that I might include in the application. And the last thing is that if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified immediately. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye.